99% of people build AI tools like this. We have user input, generate, and we get some results. If you are building tools like this, you are wasting your time. These are just trappers over AI APIs, and you will fail to turn it into a real business. But the good news, in this video, I will share with you the three pillars to turn your AI tools into real business that people will actually pay for, putting you in the 1%. If you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by HubSpot. Hi everyone, this is Hassan, and if it's your first time here on my channel, I have been working online for the last eight years. I build multiple projects, and today I run five businesses online solo. So let's start with pillar number one, the JSON expander technique. I'll explain this with a basic example so you can grasp the idea easily. So let's say you are building a YouTube title generator. Usually people do this. They have an input, for example, a video about marketing there is a button and what happens is you grab this topic you put inside a prompt you call open ai and you get back some titles this is a very basic approach in building ai tools what we can do is to turn this into something like this one we have all this input and when you generate you generate full details about the title cta hook platform notes so we are expanding the input and the output. What we can do is to go to ChatGPT and use a prompt like this one. Please focus. I'm building a YouTube title generated tool using AI right now. It's very basic. User input, open AI, five titles. I want to make it much smarter and more useful. So look at this. I want your help to expand both the JSON input and the output structure to include richer data. I'll give you this prompt so you can Test it yourself, then execute it, and you will see now that ChatGPT will expand the input JSON that users can enter. So instead of having this basic input, you will have all these input parameters so you can provide better results. Brainstorming all possible inputs for your tool, something, things you never thought about. You don't have to use them all, but you can pick some input parameters to add to your tool. And for the output, you can see now we have reasoning, we have emotion trigger, we have keywords match, the length, a lot of things also you never thought about when generating titles for a YouTube video. So we go from this basic tool to this advanced tool with a lot of inputs and more valuable output. But this is only the start. You want to make it more powerful, more valuable, you have to connect with pillar number two. But before that, and speak of AI tools, I'm super excited to share with you a 100% free resource from HubSpot in partnership with the Hustle Newsletter, a Google Sheet database of more than 200 ways to make money with AI. Each one is a potential micro SaaS, a freelance gig, or even a full-blown business. It's super valuable for startups, solo founders, and entrepreneurs who want to move quickly, keep costs low, and test ideas without big teams. Let me show you this simple trick. Pick any idea from this database, copy it, go to ChatGPT and ask it, how can I turn the following idea into a micro SaaS. help me step by step and then share the idea and from this simple sentence you will get a full step by step guide to turn this like the problem the solution the target users positioning validating the idea everything to get started and get your mvp up and running from this simple line it's a great resource whether you want to build tools start freelancing or build a full business this is a gold mine database go now grab it totally for free from the description below maybe your next business idea is in this database let's now jump back to pillar number two and this one is what really makes your tool unique and make people pay for using it it is data power generation so in pillar number one we expanded the input and the output we now have rich input, rich output. Now we supercharge them 
with real actual validated data. Let me give you an example. Going back to the YouTube generator tool. If you go to promoter kit, I have this free database of the most popular YouTube videos. Here I collected successful YouTube videos and extracted the titles with the title formulas. You see here I have a full database of successful videos. This is called data. What I did is I collected some of the top templates. And if you go here to my prompt that generates YouTube titles, you will see here, I have the templates inside the prompt, inside the YouTube title generator prompt. This will connect actual data, validated data, with your AI engine to generate titles that are proven to work. And this is what makes you unique and stand out with your AI tool. And by the way, this is a very basic example. Last week, I showed you how to connect with Reddit, scrape data from Reddit, and turn this into an AI tool to generate startup ideas and pain points. Or when I showed you how to analyze a landing page, a web page, the HTML content, like an SEO audit with AI. We have a lot of examples. The formula is simple, data plus AI equal to 10x value. I will leave the links in the description for the videos on how I collected and built this database of successful videos and the video on how I used data from Reddit to discover ideas with AI. So you can see more examples on this pillar. Let's now move on to pillar number three. Let's say you are building an image generator tool. Look at this example. So here is my tool on Simple LM to generate images. And this is one from another website. So we have this user interface and we have this user interface. Now, if you wanna test one of these tools, would you test this one or this one? Think about it. We have these options with these results and examples and we have this basic UI. Okay, I know you love my tools and my videos and you may test my because it's free, but this is not the best user interface when building especially AI tools. It's way better to showcase results, what the user can expect if they use your tool, so you can remove the barrier of paying to test your tools. They expect what to get. Let me show you another example I'm building right now. I think it's better. So here on my website, I have this Business Ideas Explorer, a database of business ideas. If you click, you get the full detailed report. These are validated ideas. What I'm building right now is a tool to validate business ideas. And I will be sharing this database as the expected results. So users can see what they will get before they try the tool. This will definitely remove the barrier of buying. So if they like the reports here, they will definitely go and test it with their own idea. So it's all about trying to showcase the expected results from your tool before even generating it. So this is more about the user interface of your tool. So don't build tools like this one. Always showcase the results beside the tool. Now for Simple LLM, since it's only for research and testing, it's free. I'm not selling it. I keep it simple like this. Oh, by the way, I built all this database and tools with WordPress. And if you're interested how I build this from scratch, I have a full video showing you step-by-step step from collecting data to building the user interface on top of WordPress and running your first micro SaaS on WordPress. If you learned something new today, don't forget, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.